Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from the book of Acts, chapter 4. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for yet another day of life that you have mercifully, graciously, and lovingly preserved us to obtain. Lord Jesus, in all things, you have been faithful. And in like manner, in all things, we want to be faithful. But we acknowledge that none is righteous, none is faithful, no, not one. And it's only by your faithfulness and your righteousness working in us can we truly obtain that faithfulness and that righteousness. So that in everything you are glorified. We of man cannot glory in our own self, but we glory in you that you can and will do all things in us. And we're asking, Lord Jesus, that you be, you be there in our lives, knowingly or unknowingly, whether we ask or don't ask, we want that you intercede, even by the prayer now, that you intercede in every behalf of our life, in all the cho life choices that we make. The decision, the thoughts, the intentions of our heart, that you are there guiding all things onto that path of righteousness, conforming it to you, to your image, so that in all things, Lord Jesus Christ, we may glorify you. And it may be said of us that we are accounted as faithful servants. And this is why we do ask for forgiveness for all the times that we have gone out of the way. And we do ask that you blot out our sins from our hearts, from our minds, from our remembrance and from blot it, and blot out our sins also from the Lamb's book of life so that the things be written of us be done so according to the righteousness that you shall reign in us through you lord jesus christ and having done so we shall have confidence in the day of judgment knowing that our righteousness is of you and because you alone are righteous then shall we be at liberty to inherit the promises and the gifts and all the goodness that you have in store for those who love you. Cause us to continue in your love. Help us throughout the tests and trials of life. That we stand firm. That we stand strong. That we do not give up. Do not give in. Nor forfeit any. Or forfeit this life. Because there is blessing in this natural life also. And we just pray that these blessings that you bless us with, that we use it to bless others and any separation that we go and experience is things again that will cause us to understand your love for us because we suffer for your sake. We don't want to suffer as an evildoer, but we want to, if we suffer for Christ's sake, we ought to be happy because we are counted as faithful servants in these instances so lord jesus as always we just pray that you lead us in spirit and in truth in your word cause it so that we are able to rear up the next generation in the knowledge and truth of who you are that you continue to help us and guide us that you continue to also to promote and to sustain and to nurture and to put your hedge of protection our own godly marriages and the pursuit thereof so that in all things 
Your name may be glorified. Even to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. So, Acts chapter 4. And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And, <clears throat> and they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, and Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have ye done this? P then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel by that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what shall we do to these men for that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them in is manifest to all them that dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it but that it spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever they, thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold, 
their threatenings. And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that, thy, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where, where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And Joseph, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is in being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Amen. As always, we'll leave it here this morning. Anything that you want to share, drop it in the comment section or send it in to the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.